as both chefs have served up the sublime and the shocking, it'll be a tough decision for the judges to make. So, though they've tasted all eight dishes, only now do they see the full menus and find out how they go together. They may have their favourites, but they must look at the menu as a whole and choose the one they think is the most cutting edge, innovative and the best representative of modern British food. Only once they've made their final decision will the judges find out who cooked which menu. Well, I think looking at these menus really sort of confirms the, the feelings I've had through today is that some of the dishes have really taken us out of our comfort zone, and I don't mean just the disastrous ones. Certainly the Stilton and the strawberries were far beyond my comfort <laughs> zone, and I wasn't happy at all. Gosh, man, I, I don't agree. I don't think they have taken us out of our comfort zone. I, I really don't feel that. I've tasted some extraordinarily good food today and cooked to the highest calibre, but then I've tasted dishes on the same menu that I thought, I mean, I thought just thought, what's, yeah, what's the person the point, doing? But that's the point. I'm going to say it's not going to be a sort of a whole series sequence of absolutely brilliant <laughs> But dishes. Matthew, they've had months. This is yes. not the first time yes. they've tried these dishes. The bad one should never have got this far. I reckon it's time to get the chefs in here. Bring them in, Prue. Bring them in, I'm chefs. not scared. The judges have each chosen a menu, and it's time for the chefs to face the music. Well, welcome, chefs. So, how are you feeling? Nervous? Yeah, very nervous, yeah. yeah. So I'm sure you want to know who's going forward to the final. Yes, please. And we've all decided which menu we like. So, Oliver, are you for menu B or menu A? Menu A, pro. Menu A. And Matthew, menu A or menu B? I'm menu A as well. Well, I'm for menu A as well. So we obviously have a clear winner. So, moment of truth. So the chef going forward to represent Central England in the final of the Great British Menu is... Glyn Purnell. Well done, Glyn. Well done, boss. Thank you. Thank you. You had three Really very, very good dishes. Lynn's menu worked more strongly through all the courses, with the exception of the fish course. The pork dish, I think, is a mistake from the diary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you recognise that. Honest so. chef, aren't yeah. chef? <laughs> yeah, I think overall, then your, your menu had uh, a more complete dishes on it. There was more thought, I felt, you know, going into the final menu. And there's a relationship with each dish all the way through. But it's sad, i got to be honest with you, you know, I think... Uh, you know, the, the lamb for me was probably the best dish of the day. And it, it was the pudding was just, I'm sorry, but I just cannot imagine. Don't let you down. <laughs> no, no, you, you excel. I'm not like missing horn. I, I quite like the, the strawberry. Oh, still it's, it's, yeah, yeah, right. You're, you're throwing him a curveball there, weren't oh. you, with that strawberry? <laughs> anyway, thanks, chefs, very much. And congratulations, Glyn. And bad luck, Sat. Never but you did, no, a great... you did a great job. Well done. Thank you, Cheers. chefs. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Champagne, mate? Yeah. Well done, Glenn. Cheers, mate. Fantastic week. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm not a guy that loses. You know, it's not something I, that I'm used to. It's uh, it, it knocks you down. But yeah, the bottom line is, is uh, he pulled it off. To, to lose to your mate, yeah, I can live with that. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I'm shocked, but I'm chuffed, and you know, I, I, I'm pleased that Sat's pleased for me as well. I will now want to fly the flag for myself, and obviously for Sat for our region, and uh, give it give it to the southerners, like.